a few words about uh, multi-threading. So uh, this small little program here has one button, go to bed, and the uh, action handler for that one is here. Uh, so uh, when the user clicks the button, uh, the first thing that happens is that uh, there will appear text sleeping, which actually will go here. It's this uh, result text here that is added to the uh, uh, root here. Okay, so the text sleeping will appear there. And after that, uh, the uh, program will simply sleep sleep time here is defined up here it's 10 seconds 10,000 milliseconds so when the user has clicked the button the program will sleep for 10 seconds and this will not work at all because what will happen um, is due to the fact that uh, JavaFX is single threaded there's only one thread the JavaFX application thread that is uh, allowed to update the GUI and it's the same thread that runs the event handlers as well. So um, the uh, application thre thread uh, updates the GUI, uh, runs the event handler, and then is stuck here, sleeping for 10 seconds. So then there is no thread, it, it's blocked there. There is no, no thread that can uh, update the GUI anymore. So after the button is clicked, nothing will happen. The button will not even go back up again. And it will not be possible to interrupt or, or close the program or anything. So let's run it. Okay, I click. And now the button is down. It does not go up. And I cannot close the program because it's, it's stuck there. Okay, exactly. Uh, so after 10 seconds uh, the program died because the actions I took were queued in particular uh, clicking the, the X for closing the window and now it was executed so the program closed. Uh, I will run it once more uh, without clicking closing the window. Okay I click and just wait so now you see the button is pressed so let's wait 10 seconds and then the button should go back up and the, uh, actually there it was. I was going to show that the woke up text should appear. It's the thing down here that uh, the next line after sleeping. Okay, so, so that's how it works. Not good at all, right? Uh, and the obvious uh, uh, implication this has for your work in the course is that the sleep simulates a lengthy task like typically a network call. So you cannot do, uh, and I repeat, not uh, do network calls like this on an action handler. Homeworks will not be accepted if, if you have networks, network calls on the JavaFX application thread in a network handler. Okay, so that's how not to do. Um, now let's look at how to do it instead. Here is another version of the same program that does uh, exactly the same thing click the button uh, and the program sleeps for 10 seconds but in, in this shows how it should be done in order not to block the JavaFX application thread so uh, when I click the button first of all the text sleeping appears here and that's because now the JavaFX uh, application thread is working so, so so this update to the GUI could be performed second you've seen that the Okay, now it's already woken up. Let's run it again. So now you see the button uh, goes back up. It does not remain pressed. Also, if I want to close the program while sleeping, it's, it's quite possible. So now the GUI is responsive as it should be uh, fine. Uh, so let's see what happens. What's the difference from the previous program? So, um, Going back to the previous program, the non-responsive user interface. Uh, here you can see that the sleep is done in the handle method uh, of that handles the action event of the button. So it, it, it's the, actually the JavaFX application thread that sleeps. But in the responsive version, uh, 
there is no sleeping here. So um, the JavaFX application thread is not blocked. Instead, the sleeping is done in the service that started here. Uh, so ser a service is uh, a concurrency utility provided by JavaFX. Service and task, those are the ones we are going to use. And they are, are in the JavaFX concurrent pack package. Okay, so uh, the service is uh, created and started here. And I, I pass a reference to the uh, text field in order to be able to print the woke up text. Okay, now let's look at the sleep service that does all the job. It's an inner class defined down here um, that extends the service interface of JavaFX concurrent. So in, in the constructor, it takes the reference to the um, uh, result, uh, result text, text. <laughs> uh, and then here sets an action handler for the succeeded event, and that is code that is going to execute when the term uh, when the service is successfully terminated. There are other set on a failure, set on um, cancel, and so on that can handle failure. But for now, I'm only going to show the succeeded method. So this code here it, it is what is going to show when when the service has successfully terminated. So it sets text on the result text. That's the text uh, that is going to show woke up. And what text does it set? It says takes the source of the event. So E is here, right? That's the E that is here. So the source of the event uh, is actually this uh, service object that is executing. And the, the thing that is written is the what is returned by the get value. So get value will return the result of the call method of this service task. Okay, so now let's look at the task. So the first thing, oops, first thing was the service. So the service is like an executor that runs a thread. Server service and performs work we can say a unit of work but which work it it performs the work defined in the task so the task is the work to perform the work to perform Okay, and the work to perform in, in that's defined in the task is defined in the call method. So this is the work, and the, so the work is actually to sleep. The same thing as in the previous blocking example. So this simulates uh, some lengthy task uh, like a network call. So this is how, how um, a network call should be made uh, on the, in another thread. So the thing is here, the, the um, service performs work, as I wrote up here, but in a separate thread. So what's nice here is that um, we don't have to handle the threading ourselves. It, it's the service uh, class that takes care of the threading things. We, there's no new thread or runnable thing in here. It's handled by the service. Um, so the service executes the call method, uh, the call method of of its task. Uh, the task is, that is created by create task method in the service. So executes the call uh, method of its task on a separate thread, and then when the the work is done, the work of the task is done, and uh, um, some value is returned. Uh, then th that value can be read uh, in the event handler of the succeeded event, set, the handler that was set in set on succeeded. And uh, in, there in um, the uh, uh, handler, 
we should do whatever should be done to the result. Because the thing is, you, you're not allowed to update the JavaFX GUI from another thread than the JavaFX application thread. So um, you cannot uh, start a separate thread of your own, pass a reference to some component UI controller on, on, in the, on the screen and have your own thread update the screen. JavaFX is not thread safe, so it might work, but uh, all of a sudden you get some very strange behavior of the screen and that's because you, you run into some race condition or something. Okay, so this shows how, how multi-threading should be handled. And remember, you have to do this. It's not optional. There was one more thing I wanted to show you. And that is the fact that um, a service cannot be, a service object cannot be reused. So observe that uh, I've written new here. Creates, I create a new object of this sleep service every time uh, the button is clicked. If, if not, if I try to reuse the same object, I will get an exception the, se the second time. You can only um, use the service object once. 